Hello and welcome to our today's lesson. In this lesson, I'm going to work on the last part of Unit 4 of Cambridge Primary Mathematics Learners Book 5. And this unit is about averages. Because the averages that are covered in this unit are mode and median. So the questions that are asked in this part are all about mode and median. The first question here says, what is the mode of the shoe prices? So we have some prices over here and it's asking about the mode. You know that mode is the price in this case or the value that happens most often or that occurs most often. So we have $30, $19, $18, 18.5, which is $18.50. $18.50 and $25.45. The mode in these prices are $18.50. $18.50. Why? Because it is repeated two times or it is happening two times here in the shoe prices. So that's the mode. Let's scroll down to go to question two. In question two, it says, what is the median length of these ribbons? The median length of these ribbons. So we have five meter, three meter, four meter, four meter, two meter, two meter, and one meter. Now to find the median, we have to first order the values or the lengths or anything that we have in order from the smallest to biggest. To do so, we will start from one meter. I will write one meter here, one meter. Then we have two meter. So two meter. Again, we have two meter, two meter. Then we have three meter. I will write them all in order, three meter. Then we have four meter. And again, four meter. And the last one is five meter. So we have one meter to five meter. Now to find the median of the length of these ribbons, we have to cross from both sides one by one. One here, one here, one here, one here, and one here, and one here. The one which is in the middle is three meter. So the median of these ribbons is three meter because three meter is in the middle. Well, question two is also solved. In question three, it says, what is the mode in the median of these sets of numbers? So we have set A, set B, C, and D. Here we have to find the mode in the median of each set. The first one, which is set A, is already ordered from smallest to biggest. So we can simply find, let me write here, uh, I can write A in this way. So first we have the mode and then we have the median. Mode is the number that occurs most often. In set A, the number that has occurred most often is 106 because we see it three times. So the mode is 106. In the median, here is the one that lies in the middle. To find it out, we have to cross from both sides. So one here, one here, so that we should to the middle. One here, one here. We continue until we reach to the middle. So the median for this set is 104. The mode is 106 and the median is 104. For set B, again, I will write B here and I will find the mode and the median for this set. The mode and the median for this set. To find the mode, we can look for the number that occurs most often. So the number that occurs most often here is seven. We have seven two times, but all other numbers are only one time. So the mode is 7 here, 
but to find the median, we have to first order the numbers from smallest to biggest. To do so, we start sorting them here. We have one, two, let me cross them so that we should not leave them behind. One is used, two is used, then we have three, so three is used, then we have four, we have four, we have five, we have six, and we have seven two times, one here, one here, so I will write seven, seven, and finally we have nine. Now we cross from both sides, one from the left, from the right, we continue until we reach to the middle. Oh, I have to cross this first, and then this, and this. So the number which is in the middle is 5. The number that's in the middle is 5. So the median for this set is 5. The mode is 7, and the median is 5. So set B is also done. In set C, again, we have 26, 26, 27, 28, 30, 31, 32, 32, 32, 31, and 29. So I will write C here. For the C also, we have to find the mode and the median. The mode and the median. Mode is the one that occurs most often. So the number that occurs most often over here is 32. Why? Because 32 is being seen here three times. It is seen three times. So the mode here is 32. But to find the median, we have to first order the data. We have to first order it. So I will order down here. We have 26, 26, two times. I will cross them. And then we have 27. Then we have 28. We have 29 here. Let me cross 27 and 28 also. 29. Then we have 30. Then we have 31. And we have 31 also two times. So two, two 31s, and then we have three 32s. 32, 32, and 32. We already found the mode. We have to find the median. So the data is ordered from smallest to biggest. We can find it out by crossing from both sides. One from the left, from the right, from the left, from the right. We continue until we reach to a number that is lying in the middle. And that number is 30. So the median for this data set is 30. We are done with set A, set B, and set C. So to do set D, I will scroll down so that I should have enough space. In set D, we have 2, 1, 2, 4, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, Two, four. So for set D, let me write D here and write the mode and median for it. The mode and the median. The mode we see is two here. Why? We have how many times? Two, one, two, three, four, five. We have five twos. So the mode in this case is two. And now to find the median, we have to order it first. So we have one, two times, one here, one here. So one, one. And how many twos do we have? One, two, three, four, five. So two, 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 and two. We are done with two. How many threes do we have? Let me cross all the twos that I used here. We have two threes, three, three, and we have, let me cross three also, and we have two fours, four and four. Now we can easily find the median by crossing from both sides, from the left, from the right, from the left, from the right, 
and we continue until we find a number that lies in the middle and that number is 2. So the median is also 2 and the mode is also 2 for set D. That's great. We are done with question 3 with all the parts, part A, B, C, and D. Let's now go to question 4. In question 4, it says, Lucas has been asked to report the average amount of money raised at an event. These are the amounts of money. We have $9, $7, $6, $5, and $9. Part A of this question says, what is the mode of the amounts? The mode here is 9 because we have 9 two times. So we can write the mode here is $9. And B says, what is the median of the amount? To find the median, again, we have to order it first. If we don't order, we cannot find the median. So. The smallest one is $5, then we have $6, then we have $7, and then we have $9 and $9. Now, by crossing from both sides, we can find the middle number, which is $7 over here. So the median for this set of amounts is $7. Part C says, is it better to use the mode or the median to describe the average amount of money raised and why? So the best one here is the median. We can say median based, median based describe the amount base describe the amount why because only two only two people have raised because only two people have raised nine dollars and all others are less than nine but seven base describe the amount which is raised because seven is in the middle seven is in the middle well, we are done with question four. In question five, it says, Mariam wants to use an average to work out what size tables are most useful in her restaurant. She collects data about the size of groups of people that eat in the restaurant. These are the sizes of the groups. So we have three, two, four, four, one, five, four, two, two, four, and one. Part A of this question says, find the mode of the data. If we look closely, we see that four is the one which is repeated the most. So the mode of the data here is four. And again, it says, find the median of the data. To find the median of this data, we have to order it first. So we see that we have one repeated two times. So we have two ones and we have three twos. One, two, three. So we have to write three twos over here. We have one, three. We have four, four, fours, four, fours, and one, five. And one, five. So to find the median, we have to cross from both sides so that we should find the middle number one five here one here four here and we continue until we reach to the middle number so the middle number here is three the middle number is three which is the median of this state in part c it says is it better to use the mode or the median to decide what size tables will be most useful and why if we look to the group of people who have come to the restaurant, there is only one group that is coming in three. But we have four groups that have come in fours. So it is best to use the mode because we can see that most of the people who come to the restaurant are in groups of four. 
So we can say it is it is based to use to use the mode to use the mode. Why? Because most of the people that we see come in groups of four. And there is only one group that has come in three. Only one group of people that has come in three. So in this case, mode is the best one that describes what size of the table should be chosen. Well, with question five, we are done with all the questions that is aimed to test the students' understanding of the lesson. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new here. Like the video and share the video with your friends, your classmates, and your students if you are a teacher. Have a nice time and thank you so much.